Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here, back at it again with Prince Doran, the Shadow of Doran. So we earned this title in the last video, I believe, and I would like to say deservedly so. Um, so we have had some really big success manipulating events in the Westerlands and at the Iron Throne. So not too long ago, we managed to miraculously, like, uh, like with a 30% chance, capture Robert Baratheon. Um, and I put him to death quietly. You know, we had had him uh, locked up and put him on trial, I think because Doran thought that, or Doran, however you want to call him, uh, he thought that, you know, Robert was kind of guilty for allowing Tywin and the Lannisters to go free after what they did to his sister. So he took justice into his own hands. Unfortunately, he lost his brother in the process. Um, but now uh, we are starting to see some fractures in the coalitions here. So we have the Starks and the uh, Aarons are essentially part of this crown loyalist faction. So they want to make sure that, you know, Stannis stays in power. Meanwhile, uh, Mace and I are pushing for Viserys. You know, obviously there is some bad blood between Mace and Stannis. And um, uh, also, Balon and is has a faction here to reduce crown authority. I'm hoping that maybe I can get him to join my faction and maybe even Cersei as well. If I can get both of them to join my faction and the Riverlands and Renly stay out of it, that could actually be quite helpful, uh, I think. Uh, but yeah, so I'm in the process of spying on him. I also, uh, so Cersei's bastard son, Raymond Waters, was sent away presumably by Robert Baratheon to Slaver's Bay. I have now arranged for him to marry my daughter matrilineally, uh, which would be nice to have Cersei's son with us at court. Uh, and she is quite alone now. Her heir, Cersei, <laughs> she named her kid after her, um, is currently heir to the to the Westerlands. But you know, Tyrion's dead, Tywin's dead, Jaime's dead. Uh, so I suppose Kevin would be next in line, yeah. Yeah, then Lancel, and so on and so on. All right, so I'm going to try and see if I can get some dirt on Balon and try to get him uh, on our side. We'll see about that. You know, I think that Doran or Duran or Doran thinks that Stannis is maybe kind of... I wouldn't say he was really guilty. He wasn't really involved at all in... You know what happened with Elia, and I think Doran knows that. I think he might want him out of power, and he might want him gone and Viserys restored. But uh, I'm not sure. I think we have to do what we have to do. I don't think I would want to have him killed. Uh, I think, to be honest, it would be really cool to send him to the Wall, uh, and maybe that's what we need to do. It looks like we have this a pretty good plot capacity to kidnap him. Uh, oh, George R. R. Martin. <laughs> uh, yeah, a good bit of people would chip in for that. I don't think I'm going to... For now, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to see if maybe we can get him taken. Let's see, faction strength is 150. Okay, I need to be the regent, and I'm currently not. Interestingly, I was the regent. Uh... Oh, that's cool that you can do a palace coup. Okay, I've never done one of those before. Okay, well, for now, I suppose I will just let it keep going. No dragons in the world. Yeah, for now, I'm just going to hit play and see what happens. Yes, so I and my trusted snoops and sneaks will be keeping a close eye on Balon. Hopefully, we can make him join in our uh, factions. Oh, and Stannis had a son. Gars. Gars Baratheon. That's a weird name. Gars. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye on, on Gars. Maybe I could uh, investigate his legitimacy. Oh, interesting. He married Lawless Stockworth. I wonder if I could uh, do the same thing to Raymond that I did to 
or do, do the same thing to Garth that I did to Raymond. But again, I don't really know how that would benefit me. I don't know what Doran's next move would be. Oh, what is this? According to my liege's order, I've done my best to fabricate a claim on the local landed noble and Pike. Oh, interesting. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Wow, so Stannis died of severe stress. Oh, and I am actually still the regent. Oh, okay, things just got interesting. So my prince, King uh, King Stannis, has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Garth Baratheon, will take the throne and rule the Seven Kingdoms. Long live the king. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know how I ended up being regent. Maybe... Uh, Robert was like, oh my god, this Doran guy is really dangerous. I need to make peace with him. Uh, let's just make him regent, make him happy. I think that's why they decided to do that ultimately. And you know, it was funny. After I imprisoned him, he basically let me go. And all he did was take Gaston Grey and give it to Santagar. Like, that's all that happened. So that was like my only punishment. So maybe he was trying to make peace. Um, you know, and I did kind of let him go fair and square after the trial, but it looks like Stannis never had the balls to change this. Interesting, interesting. So I might be able to do a palace coup after all. Uh, very interesting. So, um, okay. So now we have 78%. Well, this is very interesting. You know, could I, uh, since I am his regent, could I marry him to like Trebor? Oh, not to Trebor. Oh my god. To do I have like a daughter I can marry him to? Tyene, I guess. No. Okay. So I can't do that. That would be a, a bridge too far, I suppose. Uh. Okay. And you know what? I should also get. Tyene married to someone. Uh, something else I noticed is that there is basically a Martell or Sand on every like Lord Paramount. See, so we have Nymeria married to Renly. Uh, Mace has two sons who will be marrying one of my nieces, I think, or or maybe one of my s nephews. Okay, right, never mind. No, so it, okay. Then we have uh, Edmure married to Obara. Excuse me. And then Rob is betrothed to Sorella. Oh, John died. Oh, he died a while ago. Oh, maybe I noticed, but I forgot. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, do we have Mance around? No. Okay. Interesting. But okay, very interesting. So now I am the regent. This is... Uh, Pretty cool. Okay, so now I am in a pretty interesting position. What can I do as regent that I couldn't do before? I guess I'll be able to do the palace coup if I can get my our faction strong enough. Ooh, what is this? One of my informants said that he can gain the trust of Lord Balon. Ooh, interesting. So I can try to get rid of him. I don't know if I need to get rid of him. I think, um, no. If anything, we want him on our side. Yeah, I don't. we don't need to murder him. I just want some dirt on him so I can get him to join our faction. Ooh, we are at 99%. Oh, what is this? Interesting. So Prince Doran has come to our attention that you are harboring Viserys Targaryen. Uh, we command you to give him up, basically. Ooh, um, well, this is not good. Well, what should I do? So he is kind of forcing my hand here. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I would declare war on him, pressing his claim on the throne. You know, I guess we're about even. Um, I don't know if that means that Mace will join me. I'm assuming that he would. Um, we have about 99% of his strength. I don't know what that means, though. Like, compared to what? 
compared to just him or or what? Um, and the, only the Starks will stay on his side. It's possible that maybe one of them will join in. Is it time? Is it time to do it? Should we uh, go ahead and make our play? Is it too soon? Hmm. I'm really not sure. Oh, wow. This is a big decision. I wish I didn't have to make this decision like this. If I turn him over, that would definitely not be good. Um... But I don't know if I have more or less to gain here. And you know, I think that Ren Li will probably join in with Gars. One thing that I'm also worried about is that if I do it, that he won't join because it's like technically through something different. Uh, hmm. I really don't have a lot of men. Uh, it's kind of characteristic of Doran to back down a little bit. And, you know, we are still regent. I'm going to say it's a little risky right now to try and do it. So I might have to give him up. Yeah, I might have to give him up. I'm not sure what they're going to do. Maybe I'll try to rescue him from prison. Uh, I can, I'm still the regent. I think there's more I can actually do for Viserys now rather than, you know, in any other situation. Uh, okay, let's get George R. R. Martin to help us with this. And, oh, there's a few other people. And maybe Ilan, Ilan Payne. Interesting. I'm surprised that Ilan Payne would help me. Uh, let's see what ends up happening to him. Ah, okay, so Tain has become quite good at intrigue. Uh, what quality of education? Um, let's say the basic equipment. I'm not really made of money here. Yeah, for Cirilla, uh, yeah, learning. Oh, uh, what? Westerosi are not allowed to do that. That's interesting. It's kind of weird. Uh, but we'll get her focused on stewardship, I suppose. Hmm. You know, if Cersei and Balon would just join my faction, this would be much easier. Yeah, they're on this lower crown authority. Ooh, interesting. No more... Um, no more crown loyalists. That's interesting. Did they do something to Viserys and that's why? No. Um, I really don't want to abduct Balon. I really don't want to do that. I just want some dirt on him so I can make him join my faction. Oh yeah, that's right. Brynden has become Lord of the... Oh, we have approved the institution of limited realm authority. Okay. Well, this kid is five, so I feel like we should be able to do some stuff with him. Who inherits after him? <gasps> you know, that's very interesting. Actually, let me stop spying on Balon, and let's start spying on fucking Renly, man. If we can get Renly out of the picture, then we can just... The Viserys will just be on the throne, so I don't even have to do it through a faction command. Okay, Quinton, we actually do need to get him... <laughs> trained up so uh, I am spending a lot of money but you know seven gold per month I can pay that back pretty quick and he's my heir so but he needs to be he needs to be you know a, a warrior I don't want him to turn out to be like he was in the books but okay if I've had two opportunities to get rid of Balon if I can get an opportunity to get rid of Renly yeah look at that so I've learned that from my little bird that Renly plans to travel the realm incognito with some common folk. If I get rid of him and then I get rid of Gars, we're in a pretty good position, I think. Oh no! Ah, uh, what happened? He's dead. Wait, oh, that's Rhaegar. Oh no! They sent. Ugh, they sent Viserys. 
to the wall, of course. Okay, so who's after Daenerys? Okay, that works. Okay, so um, is he on the council? Doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, but he's leading a faction for Renly on the throne. Now that's interesting. So it looks like there is some problems going on here. Okay, so Renly is kind of innocent, but if we can get these two out of the way, I'm the regent, so I can, I mean, I can take care of Garce whenever I want. So once I get rid of Renly, I can get rid of Garce. So yeah, let's try and get this done. Ooh. Okay, so I don't know if he knows that I tried to kidnap him or not. No, okay. Well, let's keep trying. Uh, not so many opportunities here. But okay, you know, I'm pretty happy about this. I think for now, I will keep him in here. I, I guess I'll, I could just try to kill him. Okay, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, ah, well, what are my factions? I don't really have uh, a faction. Yeah, so he's trying to... So he's telling some lies about Stannis' brother. Well... Raymond for the Iron Throne. That would be interesting. Robert's Bastard... Or Cersei's bastard, rather. Um, well, what should I do with this? I mean, I could start a faction for, like, overthrow. No, I guess I'll just keep it to myself for now. Let's see if we can get another opportunity to get Renly out of the way. That would be really cool if we could, yeah, just remove these two and then pave the way for Daenerys to be the heir. Um, this way the Martells get to keep Dorne. I need to find someone to marry Arianne. And you know, it's possible that something will still happen. Oh, what's this? Yeah, we're running the realm was ruinously expensive. Should I raise the tax? No. I won't. Uh ooh, should we marry Ramsey? That would be interesting. Or VT, the Lord Treasurer. Ooh, excellent. Another opportunity. One of my informants, a young soldier with more vices than he can afford, got the trust of Lord Renly. Maybe it's one of the soldiers preparing to help him take the throne. Let's see if we can get rid of him violently. Please, please, please. Oh, no. So now he knows that I was the one that tried to kill him. Great. That's just wonderful. So now we really can't have him be king. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, well, that's not good. I wonder if I'll still be able to get him out of the way. Uh, okay. okay. I, I really can't let him be king now. Mm. But we're still regent, so we still have some power up here. Should I join a certain, any factions? I guess maybe I should be part of Crown Royalist or part of this faction for Daenerys. But I'm kind of worried about what that would be like. Hmm. Uh, oh, some new information about... Oh, I found out nothing new. So no, I need something real. I need another opportunity to kill him. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to try that again, actually. So this VT guy... Might actually be a good choice. None of these guys are going to agree because every time it's just going to say uh, that you know that they they don't want to join because um, or they don't want to marry her because they don't want to lose their family name. It happens every single time. So maybe I should do what I did and marry you know a foreigner and you know he's. He's a not a he's a lowborn. He's adopted. That's interesting. Um, 
He's attractive. He's a pretty good steward. He doesn't have that great of stats, though. Uh, but I just need to get her married, you know? I need to have her have some kids. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about that, though. VT, I don't know, he seems... <clears throat> Could I invite him to court and then maybe raise him to nobility or something like that? Hmm. Well... For the meantime, we'll wait. I don't. I think Arian might be happy to be single for a while, uh, especially after being married to Viserys Targaryen for for a while. Uh, I'm really. I think our luck has run out a little bit with these schemes. This is the first time I've ever had one fail. Not to mention fail twice. Devo Seaworth wants to be a member of the King's Guard. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I think he would be a little bit too supportive of Stannis's kid. We don't need another loyalist. A vacancy has become available. So bring me knights from the most powerful houses. I would love to have a Dornishman. Hmm, maybe Galadin Tarth. No, no. It should be a Dornishman. Also, we don't want our guy to have too many guards, you know? We'll need to take them out eventually. My coffers are empty. Um, we should seize properties to repay debts. Let's see, maybe we could compromise, lose a little bit of prestige. Hopefully there won't be any bigger consequences. Um, okay, bring me some powerful knights. No dorms, dorm. Okay, let's get a fossil way on there. Yeah. We can get a fossil away. Uh, oh, excellent. Yeah, we can take care of some of our Reachman allies. That would be really funny to start a faction for Raymond. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if Cersei would join that faction. Oh, interesting. So there's already a pretty big one here to get to increase council power. Um, wait, what? Lord Lucifer Crab's position on the Regency Council is under question. Cersei is trying to have him removed. It's funny to think that she, that we are both. Oh my god, she's the master of whisperers? Oh my god, so she could literally have him killed any fucking second. Ugh, wow. Okay, that's crazy. It's crazy to think about Dor Doran and Cersei, both on the council <laughs> of Stannis's kid after Robert, after what happened with Robert. That's crazy. Uh, as, you know, because I convinced Robert that her their son was a bastard, and then she got sent to Molestown, and he got exiled from the country, and then now we're both sitting on the Regency Council. Oh, my God. Um, does he like... No, I think he's doing a fine job. Okay, wow. So we actually kind of have to move fast because, um, you know, Renly is uh, not exactly friendly. He's not a friendly Renly. But Garth is about to be put down, probably. Well, I guess I could maybe kidnap him or try to have him... I'm just not sure what I should do first. I feel like I should try to get rid of Renly first but maybe more people would want to kill him if he were king i'm not sure okay i guess it doesn't really but i don't know i feel like um i feel like i'm more help i feel like i have more power as the regent and if i am not the regent, I, I feel like I'm kind of downgrading myself. I feel like if I was the regent, it would be easier for me to help with uh, Daenerys. Is there currently a faction for Daenerys? There is. Um, Eric insists that I help him get into it an old hat, an old hat to fit. No child tells Doran what to do. He stuck out his tongue out at me. Eric Martin. Ah, so George R. R. Martin married Alaria, just some chick named Alaria, and they had a kid. Look at that. Cool. 
Okay, come on. I really need to get... Um, should we pay for something? Um, if the Faith wants it, the Faith should pay for it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop spying on Renly, and I will start spying on him again. <laughs> Excuse me. And we'll see if we can get some more events to happen that might help us take him down. How old is she now? She's about 10, so we still have some time. I'm worried that if she does come to Dorne, that the same thing will happen with Viserys, and I'll have to go to war. I think I maybe made the right choice. Uh, I don't think we would have won that conflict at the end of the day. And I think I was... I Doran maybe thought, you know, I'm of more help as the regent. Maybe I can... And I was, you know, I was trying to get him released. Oof, okay, so I have some bad traits now. Tyrant and dishonorable. But my wife still likes me, so that's the important thing. So, interesting. So what her... Her family was at one point the leader of Narvos. Okay. Well, I'm going to play for a couple more minutes, but I really, really, really want to... Ugh, I just want I want one more of those murder plots to come up so I can get rid of him. Can I... I wish I could imprison him as the... As the regent, you know, tell Garce to get rid of him. Okay, I think that if Garce is starting to get older, maybe if he's like 12 or something, I'll go ahead and try to just get him out of the way. But, you know, it's possible he might have a civil war on his hands eventually. We'll see. Oh, oh no, for a second I thought he died. Uh, You know what? Yeah, let's make something up. Say that he takes little boys to bed. No problem. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try... I'm, I'm going to take a look. Is there anyone who would join this plot? Anyone I could pay? Big bucks? Not even Nymeria will help me. That's kind of bullshit. <sighs> okay. Well, that's a bummer. Um... Hmm. And how about Ariane? I guess we could get... Hmm, could she marry Gars? Matrilineally? No. Hmm. Uh, again... Um, well, you know what? Maybe I can get him imprisoned. Okay, so he will live to regret this. Maybe we can stop getting that event for the factions oh shit he's trying to kill me interesting hopefully my spy master yes yeah, scheme 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 I should get you stop stop building a spy network you need to be scheming and protecting me uh, oh what's this uh, so Orman Ironwood Ironwood's always causing problems I'll order him to stand down. Oof, nothing I can do. Okay, so he is really going after them. Uh, okay, well, we've had a little bit of movement in this episode. You know, now I'm the regent. Stannis is gone. I really didn't know what I was going to do about Stannis. Renly and I, there's now some bad blood between us. Um, you know, I... Uh, Mace Terrell, no, he's doing a fine job. We want to make sure that we keep him on the council. I hope he's not removed. Uh, okay. And so we voted to keep Lord Mace Terrell. Man, Cersei is really instigating a lot of shit. Ah, man. This is a shame I'm not getting any more of those events to do the the murder royal style privilege um okay so anyway like i was saying um we have seen a lot of movement 
where Stannis has been removed and we are the regent. Uh, if, and we are just two heartbeats away from getting Daenerys on the throne. And I just don't know what I should do. I think if Gar starts getting too old... Oh, here we go. So, Renly again, traveling the realm, incognito. What's going to happen? Okay. Let's try to get this done. Hopefully we can take him out. <sighs> again, they have failed to get him. But okay, at least those events are still alive and well. So, Renly is being really careful. It's being it's become really tricky. Although it looks like he's um suffered some wounds and some stress possibly from from what's been going on. So, he probably has some low health. Um yeah. No, no, actually it doesn't say. Minus one health. Uh, but we'll keep moving on. I, I'm really hoping that we can get him one of these days. And then if Garth gets too old, I'll have him removed. Oh, again. <laughs> Let's try it again. Uh, I have hatched a brilliant scheme to get rid of a rival. I don't even know who this is. The master of, of Flea Bottom? Uh, uh -huh. Yes! So we finally got Renly in chains uh, and the same here excellent okay pause uh, let him rot um, I think I am just going to ha can I um, can I like okay no I was I kind of I don't want to really like you know I don't want to outright kill him but I'm not sure what else I can do uh okay so i would like to call him to trial but i can't because i guess he is we are equals mm. and i can't plot to kill him because of some reason okay so I think I'll just go ahead and have him killed. I was hoping that he would die and that he wouldn't be, you know, imprisoned. So, okay, well, let's go ahead and have him killed. Uh, this is really, ooh, this is really does not look good for us, I don't think. You know what? Maybe what I'll do is I'll try to have Garce killed first. Um, before I do this. So actually, not a lot of people willing to help me out with Garce, but if I send some money to Varys and to this guy Durham, and maybe to uh, this lady, Illyria, maybe we can do it. Um... I kind of don't want to risk losing Renly to a trial by combat, but I don't know if he has anyone who could really help him. So maybe what I can try to do is get Gars killed. And you know what? I should probably put him in the Oblite so he doesn't escape. Yeah, so let's put him in the Oblite. Maybe he'll just die of his, you know, whatever problems he might be having. Ooh, okay, this is pretty tense. You know what? All right, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it for now. Oh, what is this? King Garce will be going on a hunting trip. I have some leverage on one of the hunters. So it might actually happen. Let's see. Maybe it'll be in this episode. Oh, oh, oh. I think we just need two people. And more than 100% and then basically it's easy. Oh, we could also send for a faceless man. Um, should we legitimize Bertram Rivel? Sure. Virile. Success! The hunter did what he was paid and made sure that Garth never returned from the hunting trip. Alright, so let's get rid of Renly. Let's just have him beheaded. And now we can say goodbye to Garth and hello 
to who the hell is this whoa 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 what's going on here I am confused um, all of the lords and nobles have arrived from King's Landing for the Great Council. The leading candidates for the thr uh huh. Okay, so they've had their eyes. Uh, now we can discuss who we should have. So I think Prince, Prince. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna leave this here. So it seems like uh, you know, Gar suffered from an unfortunate accident. Uh, Renly was killed viciously by the shadow Lord Doran. Uh, again, I'm, uh, you know, I think Doran is, he's so close, and so he's willing to take these really risky moves. And in the process of trying to get rid of Renly quietly, it's produced a, a big rift between them. I admit, to be honest, maybe it was a little bit out of character, but I'm thinking that in the show and in the books, Doran was kind of a weak plotter. He was never really tough enough to do what needed to be done. And this is the version of Doran where he is. Um, but so now we've gotten rid of all the Baratheon brothers. Um, we've gotten rid of the Lannisters, more or less, except for Cersei. Uh, so now there is going to be a great council to see who should be the, um, the heir. And we have Lord Protector Howard Pyle, who is currently holding the seat. So very interesting, very interesting situation. But okay, guys, I will see you next time, and we will see what... Oh, my God, interesting. And it looks like Raymond Baratheon is also a candidate. And, oh, very interesting. Okay, so um, we will go through this great council next time, and I'm hoping that Prince S. Targaryen will come out on, camp, on top. So, all right, guys, that's it from me. I'll see you next time.